Hi, my name's Carl Pinson from the Suffolk Latch Company, and what follows is a short video on our unboxing of our traditional um, wooden and brass doorknobs for mortars and rim locks. When your doorknob arrives, it'll come in a small white box. On opening it, you'll find you've got the knob itself in there assembled, and in the bottom of the packet you're going to have an allen key and enough brass screws to get the job done. Right, in front of me here we've got our two distinct styles of uh, mortise doorknob. The ones here, the beehive ones, can only be used on traditional sort of mortise locks or latches, whereas the ones on the right can be used for, for both mortise locks and latches and rim locks. We're now going to talk about some very, very important differences between these two different styles of knobs. Also, we've got the beehive, and then we've got the bun and the ringed. Now, with the beehive, like I said earlier on in the video, it can only be used for a traditional sort of mortise lock or latch. And the reason for that is the rose plate is slightly wider than this actual boss here. So you've got a small lip. So that lip if you then use it onto a rim lock, it would look fairly unsightly. Whereas with the other types of knob, you'll see here, it's actually quite a nice smooth um, transition from the timber to the brass. So obviously it'll fit nicely into the rose plates, but again, removed onto a rim lock would work beautifully. Another very, very important consideration, which I found out at my own expense of my recent house renovation, was that because these aren't sprung, there is no natural return when you turn the doorknob sort of right or left. I would strongly suggest do a Google, look online, get your tube of the latch and make sure it's got a nice heavy spring which actually allow the doorknob to return back to the open position as when it's operated. Okay, we'll quickly run through the various um, knobs and arrange. This is what we call our rosewood bun doorknob. Again, nice smooth top. The rose plates have got a very small feature on them. Again, ideally used for either mortise locks or um, in, used in conjunction with a rim lock and we have the identical product here which is the uh, which is the same timber but given a black sort of uh, a coating of paint which won't wear off and then going on to the next style which is going to be the again the rosewood um, what we call the rosewood ringed you'll see on, on the top face here you've got these little rings on there and on the rose plate itself the rings sort of continue down and again exactly the same as before um, same product, same detailing, same finish, but obviously in a, in a black finish, what we call the ebonized. Um, thing to note here, we, we have a polished and lacquered brass um, rose plate on all these products. The next one is our very popular beehive doorknob. Again, this one again is in, in rosewood. You can see we've actually got these little, little machining marks down here which match the, uh, the, sort of the beehive effects on the top there. And again, you can see here this little uh, lip, which means obviously it's only ideal for mortise locks and latches. Um, the only real difference in the finish of the metal is this has been finished in a, it's what we call an antique brass finish. And again, absolutely identical to the other one. Again, in a black finish and again with the sort of antique brass finish. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up below and also don't forget to leave a comment or subscribe. And please look out for more videos in the future. Thank you.